Today we're going to specify the steps to installing your Gilson testing screen in your materials testing lab. The Gilson testing screens are rugged, tough machines that will provide years of service if installed and maintained correctly. During vibration, an improperly installed testing screen can travel across the lab floor, cause excessive vibration, decrease screening efficiency, and pose a safety risk to lab personnel. Site considerations are the first step in pinpointing your operational testing screen location. Be sure to allow enough space around the machine for adequate material handling, the installation and removal of screen trays, and the maintenance on the machine on all sides. For best results, operate your testing screen in a dry environment that is free from excessive moisture or hazardous conditions. There can be considerable dust generated during operation. Be sure the area has adequate ventilation. Be sure to locate your testing screen near an existing grounded electrical outlet, supplying the required voltage and amperage. And do not use extension cords. And your testing screen should be located and anchored on a level, rigid foundation, such as a poured concrete floor. Finally, make sure the floor will bear the weight of the machine, the weight of the materials being tested, and the vibratory forces generated by the loaded testing screen. Gilson recommends anchoring the unit to a concrete floor using half-inch anchor bolts and locking nuts. Be sure to have metal shims on hand to level your testing screen. Install your anchoring hardware using the foundation plan for your testing screen found in your operating manual. Leave about one and a half inches of exposed thread to allow for leveling shims and securing the unit's feet. Be sure to use lifting equipment to raise and install your testing screen. Using lifting equipment, Place the testing screen onto the four anchor bolts so that the threads extend through the holes in the feet and eventually resting the testing screen onto the floor. Once in place, screw the locking nuts loosely onto the anchor bolts to protect the threads while leveling the unit. Perform an initial leveling of the outer case, front to back, side to side, by inserting metal shims under the feet until the top of the unit is level on all four edges. Do not level the unit by the top cover. Now, insert a single screen tray into the third screen tray slot from the top of the separator, leaving one third of its length extended out of the front of the machine. Next, clamp the single screen tray in the separator by either applying short strokes to the hydraulic pump handle or by simultaneously turning the manual clamping handles clockwise depending on which testing screen you have. Use your sense of touch to determine when the single screen tray is firmly clamped. Now, using a carpenter's level on the extended screen tray, resting it on the tray's flanges, level the testing screen side to side and front to back by adding or removing metal shims until the screen tray is level. You should use a minimum of shims in this whole process. If the outer case is seriously out of level compared with the screen tray separator, tighten the mounting nuts to firmly anchor the unit to the floor. Run the machine empty for a half an hour and the problem may disappear on its own accord. Once the unit is level, tighten the mounting nuts to firmly anchor the unit to the floor. For any questions about installing your Gilson testing screen or for any Gilson product, please contact your Gilson technical support team.